Um, and another reminder that if you are making an announcement tonight to please come up here in front of the owl so that those that are joining us virtually can see you. All right, welcome guests and using our experience, Neil. Perfect. So we have a couple of visitors tonight, a couple of guests. We have Ben Hansen. If you could stand up, introduce yourself, and then give us what's your favorite winter activity. Uh, so my name is Ben Hansen. I just moved recently to the Cross area. I work at Trust Point, and uh, I just came to check it out, like trying to get involved in the area and stuff. And my favorite winter activity is skiing. Well, welcome, Ben. Thank you. And then we have Megan Hafner. Did I say that right? Hi, I'm Megan from the Cross. I work at Everton. And my favorite activity would probably be something I try for the first time to do Cool. Welcome. Welcome. All right. I think that's it. Welcome to both of you. Thanks for joining us. Um, feel free to ask questions or stay after. Usually our members are around. So feel free to ask any questions if they come up. <clears throat> All right, is anyone on virtually? Yeah, um, we have Margarita and Colin. Awesome. Hello. Just a membership update. We are at 53 active members. Um, we did lose one member, Ryan Bible. Uh, so that's good. Good news. Um, we have some new faces here too, which is always awesome. So. Um, that should not be November. That should be January. Um, but we do have two anniversaries this month. Bill Pritchard has been in Rotary, Rotary for 18 years. So our club isn't quite that old, but he was a Rotarian in downtown and switched to our club. And then wow, Meg Cockhaver <laughs> tried to put those together, um, has been in our club for 10 years. <clears throat> We have a lot of birthdays this month. Um, earlier this month, we had Kelly Goya and Tyler Lockeholt. Friday is Marissa's birthday. Next week, we have Bill and Cassie's birthday is the following week. And then at the end of the month is Larry's birthday. So happy birthday to all of you. Hopefully you are doing something special at some point this month. So. Um, I just want to say thank you to all the people that volunteered um, right after Christmas. We had a good group of people. Uh, I think they collected quite a bit of money and canned donations. Um, it had been really cold. We got very lucky that it was like a beautiful night. Couldn't have been better in my opinion for being a winter night to volunteer. Um, it was, I had fun, direct traffic, it was busy. So that was good. We had a little fire. So um, I'm, the nutcracker started on fire as we were standing there. So, and I feel like I helped put the lights together yes, on that at one point. So it might have been my fault. I'm not sure. But um, thanks to Neil and Andrew, they were able to put it up quickly. So. <laughs> Uh, just a reminder, Mari is with us. She is living with Danny and Eric. Um, if you want to get together with her, feel free to reach out to them or anyone on the youth committee. Just remember, you need a background check um, or another adult to be with you. And Mari, I think you're doing an update at our next meeting. So hopefully she will come with a list of things she's still hoping to do in the area. Um, and maybe that will spark some interest too for people that might be doing some of those activities. So, service announcements. Phil, do you want to do that? All right. We have two exciting service things coming up. Uh, Sierra is not here, right? She will be the point person for the New Horizons Galentine's Day brunch. So it's a very exciting thing. I was attended it last year just as a spectator with really good food. And but she's looking for people who can help out from kind of 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. on Saturday morning, your favorite time. <laughs> but uh, she will be here hopefully in two weeks, and um, I'll try to get more info from her on what you what people who want to help out will be doing. But you can also attend the Valentine's Day events, which helps out all the uh, victims of abuse and so on who 
find some good shelter with New Horizons. The other ones is the Monday Meals at Trinity. More information will be coming about that. Uh, it is an awesome time, a lot of fun for people who have done it in the past. Uh, you help out, you can cook if you can show up earlier with the main entree. Bring, I'll have a list of things you can bring for a side dish. And then we put the meals together. And then we're actually trying to see if we can put tables outside so people can eat together. And then you can maybe go around and chat with the people as well. That will definitely happen in the spring, but February might be a little chilly. Not for me, but for everybody else. So more information coming, but there will be a definite sign up list coming up as well. It is an awesome time, and this is a great time to actually get involved with Rotary. So if you are new, these are the chances that you have to actually get together and build more relationships with people. So please sign up. Thank you, Phil. And um, as you might remember, Phil is now our service chair. So if you have ideas or anything, uh, reach out to Phil for the time you need. So. We also have most of the year already scheduled up. Yes. So hopefully by then this month we get developed and this will all get ready to Awesome. Thank you. Social announcements. Um, next Friday, January 20th, we are going to Mexcal, which is that new Mexican restaurant um, on the corner. I think it was Kate's on State. Um, you're welcome to join. There's food and drinks you can get on your own. And then after we are going to do the Friday comedy night here. Um, it's $10 to attend that, but hopefully that will be fun. It's a good way for us to give back to this location. Um, who has been very kind in letting us have our new years here. So, <clears throat> do you know, Marissa? Do you have to get tickets in advance? I will, we can find out too and then post something on Facebook. Yeah, that's true. So I'll have to ask Steph Fine, she's the one that's orchestrating it. I'm just not quite sure, but it's a good question. Um, and then if you are on Facebook, you may have seen that we are working on a trivia slash ski snowboard night at Mount Lacrosse. I think that's on Thursday night. Um, Mari's birthday is coming up in February, so I think the plan is to do it sometime in February because she wants to ski or snowboard. Is that right? Yes. So, awesome. Information to come, but just will be coming. <clears throat> there is a star meeting um, this th Thursday at 7 a.m. at the Capella Performing Arts Center. Just remember to go in door D. Um, and I did put a little description of kind of what the star group is. It is typically for newer members, but anyone is welcome. Um, they have a little PowerPoint and it's kind of for you to meet other Rotarians in the area. It's throughout the Blue region, Rotarians are invited. So I do believe you need to sign up ahead of time. So the sign up should be on our website um, on the calendar, or you can reach out to me and I can get it to you. Upcoming Rotary events. So I think I'm going to send out an email with all of these um, links and stuff, but there is a global management. Uh, that should say grant management seminar. There is an online version and an in-person version. It's here in La Crosse. I'm really messing up a lot. Um, or no, those are online, sorry. Those are online. Um, they have one on a Saturday or Wednesday evening. You can sign up. We do need at least one person from our club to attend for us to be eligible for grants. Um, so I will send out emails again with all these links and the dates. There is a vibrant club workshop. So they do this every year and it's actually gonna be in person for the first time in a while. And it's going to be here in La Crosse. So it's for the whole district. It's here. Um, there is an online version in the morning and then an in-person version in the afternoon. So if anyone wants to attend that, it's great for people that are in leadership positions, but also just members that want to learn up more um, about how to make rotary vibrant tickets and exciting. Um, that's a great one to attend. District Tricon is also here, which is exciting. Um, we just travel around each year. Registration is now open. I got an email earlier this week, so I will send out a link if anyone wants to attend. I think it's free. Not free. The, uh, 
Oh, the tricon or the yeah, the like the tricon. Yeah. Certain events are free, but the other things. Got it. Okay, so part of it free, part of it's free, part of it you have to pay for, so you can pick and choose if you want to attend any of that. Um, we are also, I think, going to have a volunteer opportunity during that year um, that Sierra is helping with. So stay tuned for that. And then I just wanted to add the Rotary International Conference is coming up in May and it is in Australia. So if anyone ever wanted to travel there, this is a great opportunity to go and um, meet Rotarians from all over the world. Friendship Exchange um, talked about these a couple times, but Rotarians can travel back and forth. So they did, I just get I just got information about one in Budapest, Hungary. Um, so if anyone's interested, they're going in April. Um, so they are looking for 10 people to attend. Um, they also need hosts to house some um, exchange or Rotarians uh, from other countries this summer. So if you're interested, let me know and I can get you more information. Um, I was in Budapest for a very brief period of time, but it was super cool and I hope to go back someday. So if you're looking for traveling opportunities early this year, there you go. <clears throat> All right, any other announcements? Well, tonight we are going to do a little bit of a membership update from the membership committee. I'm going to do a little election um, looking ahead, and then we have a little activity for us to do. So I am going to turn it over to Neil and Melissa. Thank you. Okay. Well, um, I guess I'll give you guys a little update on the membership committee. I am currently the membership chair and Neil will be taking over uh, for the next rotary year. So in July, we're about halfway through my year as chair. Um, after the pandemic, we're really starting to ramp up a bunch of our programs again and keep people engaged. Um, it's kind of the main point of the membership committee is to do things that are going to bring in new members, keep members active and then try to wrangle the members who are kind of disengaged back into the club. So um, that's kind of what we try to do in our committee. Um, so I don't know what I wrote on the slides today. Uh, <laughs> some of the things that we do in the membership committee is we do like welcome the guests when they arrive and do those fun questions kind of like Neil did today. Um, we onboard new members to make sure that they uh, know who to contact. We get the new member profiles and get it out to people. Um, we cover the cost of star meetings so that new members can kind of figure out what Rotary is and how they can step into it. Um, we do new member pinnings and a whole lot of other little things in the background that you might not notice, but hopefully <laughs> add to your overall experience of Rotary. Um, we do meet once a month. <laughs> um, we meet after the second meeting of every month. So January 24th will be our next uh, committee meeting and it'll be right after the club meeting. So we try to make it easy to attend. Um, there have been a few times where we do uh, email meetings in lieu of an in-person meeting just because of time constraints with like say ugly sweater or the holidays and that kind of stuff. So we're a little flexible. Uh, so part of the membership committee is, is that we deal with the new mentor program. So the new mentor program is for new members coming on, you just pair up with an existing member and they kind of help you through the new member program. And so with that, that program includes completing your new member profile on uh, Club Runner, logging in, changing your information, meeting with one president chair and either it could be the past one or the existing one too. And then attending the raw social, so whether that be the ski trivia night, attending one of those or the MedScal social too as well. And then volunteer at one of our service events and then another attend two club meetings and then present vocational. So vocational is just pretty much come up here present to the club who you are, what do you like doing your hobbies, why you kind of join Rotary. It's not 
that's the new two year bracket, but you just come up and it is, it's like an icebreaker for the whole club for yourself. And then attending a star meeting, a star meeting is a leadership meeting. They typically are held on Tuesdays and Thursdays in the morning. And then you can zoom in on those. You can go attend those in person as well. Too, and you can get slides for those too. Um, and then introduce yourself to a Rotary Youth Exchange student. So we do actually have one, Mari is here too. So just talking to one of those people too as well. So that's kind of what's included in our the new membership program. And we just encourage you to do that within the first year. So you just get a feel of the Rotary Club and the members are part of it. And you can get a real sense of where you want to be at, what committees you want to join the committees, what you're really passionate about and where to volunteer your time at in the club. And then with the new membership or with the membership committee too, if you ever have any questions, you can always come to our committee and we, any, one of, any one of our members and we can help you answer those or at least point you in the right direction where we can get those answers for you. And then we also have to, we also introduce uh, existing members to um, introduce a new member to existing members that have shared interests. So if you're really passionate about the outdoors, <coughs> there's another member in the club that loves outdoors, we'll introduce them to them. And we have a lot of runners. So if you're a big runner, you can go out and maybe run with them once to get you introduced to those things too. Yeah, and as part of this, if any of you existing members would like to be a mentor, please come reach out to us. We um, are going to start expanding it further than just our membership committee so that everybody in the club has the opportunity to be a mentor because I, we kind of feel like it's not just for the new members' sake, it's also for the existing because sometimes they ask really great questions that, you know, I've never had questions before and I got to figure out the answer or, you know, it, it's also a way to keep yourself engaged because there is somebody there who, you know, might need your advice on something. So um, if you would like to be a mentor, please come talk to me after the meeting and I'll start taking down contact information and names and we'll start rolling that out. So that was kind of a recap of what we've done in the past six months-ish now, I guess, geez, six months. Um, so now looking forward at what we're planning for the future is, oh, sure. Do you have to be in the membership committee to be a member? No, you do not need to be part of the mentorship or the membership committee to be a mentor. Lots of M's there. Um, like I said, you can be in the club. We'll just be the contact person where if you have questions you can't answer, you can come back to membership to talk to us, um, but you don't need to join. Um, so then looking forward, we are planning a March membership month again. Um, we started doing this a couple years ago and last year we extended it to the full month of March and we're doing that again because it worked out really well last year. Um, so for the month, we have a couple of things planned, uh, working with programs, social and the service committees, all pitching in to kind of get some new members and new blood in here. Membership itself is planning the business etiquette dinner with uh, socials. So Steph Klein has been helping us a lot on that. And um, if you want to help plan that business dinner at business etiquette dinner, um, please join the membership committee. We're doing fun things like this and it's good to get some new ideas and um, there's definitely some things that, you know, we still have to figure out. So please uh, feel free on joining if uh, you'd like to. Again, the next membership meeting is after the next meeting, so. Um, but we do have some other things coming up that month. We have a meeting with Rick Kite about I believe it's about service activities within your communities. Um, we are doing vocationals, as um, Neil kind of mentioned during the new program. So we'll have some existing members, hopefully some new members up to talk about who they are, what their interests are, and what they do. And then we'll also have a social fundraiser, Pipes for Polio, which we've done a few times, and it's always a blast. So that's what membership has coming up. I don't I think the invite came out for the business etiquette dinner yet, but it was a really fun time last year at Sula's and this year it'll be 
I think at Kogariba. Yeah. 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 So. And we'll have Janie Morgan there to kind of guide us through some business etiquette, such as where you place your name match. Um, I believe it's how to use your forks or something. Yeah. I will learn. <laughs> <laughs> You guys have any questions for us? Off the bat? Thank you guys. Thank you both for your leadership on that committee. Um, I think they are still firming up some details for the etiquette dinner and <coughs> portfolio. So information will be coming out soon on that. Um, via email and I think we'll probably do a Facebook event as well. So feel free to invite people that you think might be interested in attending. Any questions on anything? Uh, so I just wanted to talk a little bit about the election. Um, typically I was going to do it at the next meeting, but seeing how we had some time tonight, I thought I would stick it in here. Um, after the next meeting, we, we will receive an email um, from the club and it will be a survey to submit nominations. So um, you'll see in a minute, all the positions that are open, you can see who you think might be a good member from our club that would be for that position. You put it in, I think it's like two or three people per position. Um, those will be due February 10th. Then what happens is the secretaries reach out to all the people that were nominated and say you were nominated for these three positions, which one are you most interested in? And then we kind of fill that in. There's an election committee that will then complete a slate. Um, and then the president line, someone on that will meet with each person and see where they fit in best. Then we will bring it back to the election committee, um, approve it, it will come to the club to be approved. And then hopefully we will have a board for next year, 2023, 2024. Are there any questions on that? It's a little bit different from what we used to do, um, but we've done it the last, I think, two years this way, and it seems to have worked well so far. So, and to be on the board, you don't need experience. Um, it's actually a great way to get experience, especially if you have interest in being on other boards in the future. It's um, pretty fun for the most part. Um, and it's only <laughs> killed that one. Um, but we meet once a month. It's usually about an hour. Um, we meet in person or on Zoom. Um, but it is a really great way to learn more about the club and to get that experience, especially if you haven't been on the board before. Um, it's a great group of people. We have good conversations. Uh, so I really encourage you to get involved on the board. If you aren't, you can self-nominate too. Someone doesn't have to nominate you. It's totally anonymous. You can fill your name out for every position if you want. So um, with that, um, so we do have quite a few positions open. I did want to take some time um, to let you know that James Murray has actually resigned from our board due to family commitments. So um, that was kind of unfortunate, but totally understand that life changes when you sign up to be president. You have two or three years until you become president. So, um, you know, he still plans to be part of the club and um, we will see him soon. With that, we have Bill. Um, he was supposed to be the president-elect and he has kindly agreed to become president. So following <laughs> me, Bill will step into the president role, but that will mean that we will have a big key um, vacated position for the president-elect and president-elect nominee. If you ever wanted to be president, but that four years was too many, here's your opportunity <laughs> to step on in and have only a three-year term. So um, we're gonna go with that. So, um, but yeah, so we have president-elect, president-elect nominee. There will be a treasurer-elect position, which is two years. Um, Derek Peterson will move into the treasurer position, replacing Nathan, who has been awesome over the last two years. Alyssa Frank will step into secretary, replacing Steph Doyle, who's also been great for the last two years. Um, and then Sergeant Arms, which is the position that Eileen is currently in, 
three-year director. We will keep Neil unless he uh, steps out of place. So, so far he's doing great. <laughs> um, and then director one year, which is CR right now. So, um, so all the positions in purple are open. They will be open for nominations. Um, if you have any questions, I would encourage you to reach out to the people that are currently in the positions. We also have job descriptions, which I will find a way to include when we send out the nominations. So, any questions? All right. So just expect, I will try and remember at the next meeting to give you a heads up that that email will go out shortly after um, the meeting later this month. And I encourage you all to fill it out. It's really helpful. Um, when we get nominations because we want people to get engaged and have a say in who is leading our club. All right, so um, like I said, unfortunately our presenter tonight couldn't make it. So typically for those new members that might be here checking it out, we usually do have someone that comes and does a 20 to 30 minute presentation on either a nonprofit or issue or program um, in the area. So tonight we're freestyling a little bit. Um, so I put together a, a little small group brainstorm. So there's some questions here. I have some paper and I'm hoping that maybe at each table or you can break it into two groups. You guys can kind of talk about these, but um, what are some ways that we can maybe recruit people to come to the membership recruitment month in March? How do we recruit new members just in general? Are there places we should be at or things we should be involved in um, to meet new people and bring them in. What are some new places you wanna check out in the area um, with other Rotarians? So like what socials might be of interest to you or things that we have or haven't done um, that would be exciting? What fires you have to serve? So what gifts do you have to share in something that you wanna do? So what service can, um, events do you want to see over the next year? I know Phil said that they kind of have some lined up and. Let you so, take it over. Sorry. You did a great job freestyle. <laughs> <laughs> so when you when you are serving, what gets you so excited to say, I cannot wait to get up this morning and go to this event <laughs> to serve? And also, do you have special gifts? Somebody who, oh, I love to serve the poor. I love cooking. I can really get into that. I love to build things. So maybe it would be cool if we did a day raw at Habitat for Humanity. Uh, or maybe we can go get a van or a thing to help people with medical needs. What gets you so fired up that you want to join Rotary and then stay with us and then continue up? And what new things can you bring to us as a service committee that we have not thought of? Because, you know, it's... People, I love to serve the poor. I love to serve hungry people. I love to measure five, six, seven times before I cut and then measure it one more time because I am horrible with building things, but it's fun to go serve with people who know what they're doing. So you can learn from them. So this is your chance to let us know through this year and next year, maybe the year after, what new things will help us but the service, but also help maybe even the membership committee with bringing in new people because we are doing things that they really enjoy. So have fun at your tables talking about all this stuff. Laugh because that what brings people as well. And just spend time together and just share with each other what is going to get you excited to come. Yeah. Yes. So thank you, Phil. Um, so I have just blank paper. Sorry, I need to get like questions typed out. But uh, figure it out and write some notes down and we will collect them um, towards the end of the meeting. Like I said, you can kind of disperse however it makes sense. And then those that are online, I'm hoping that maybe a couple of you can talk about it um, together if we need to on our end. If you wanna, um, those who are joining us online, if you just wanna put some um, ideas in the chat or something that we can, Share. That would be awesome. Uh -huh. <laughs> Good gravy. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Yeah. <laughs> 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 
which is Yeah. 
Stuff down.
somehow motivate people to actually try to increase their readers. I feel like we have to have to yeah, Or last conversation, you can write anything down. Um, no. A question for you. So they did yeah. some stuff in the chat. Yeah. They like copy and paste. Yeah. So we'll see. Um, well, it's all being recorded too. So okay. We'll the chat. Yeah, we, we've got it. Okay. It'll be good. Well, I'm I moving. Like, yeah. Yeah. No, I mean, you're still being. Okay. They can hear me. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Um, so thank you all for doing that. I think that'll be helpful. We usually do send out a survey to um, our club members, but sometimes it's helpful to kind of have conversations that spark ideas off of each other. So thank you. Um, anyone wants to share a really great idea, feel free. Otherwise, I will just collect the papers um, at the end and I will share them with the different committee chairs. So anyone want to share anything? I'm excited to see them. So I have to give some kudos to Phil for kind of coming up with this idea. So I was going to do like together. 
really lens to get closer to an idea. Yeah, exactly. I always feel like I get better ideas if I talk to people yeah. instead of when I'm sitting there and I'm like, I don't have anything. So somebody else. Awesome. Well, thank you all. Um, sorry again that our speaker wasn't here, but hopefully this will be helpful for our club moving forward. So, <clears throat> all right, we are going to wrap up. Um, our next meeting is going to be another kind of rotary focused meeting. Um, but Sierra is going to talk about the Rotary Foundation. We're going to do a Shark Tank pitch. Um, that will be coming up later. So just kind of a little bit about our Shark Tank event. Um, Mari is gonna do an update. So we can look forward to that. Um, and I think that's about it, but it should be a good meeting. Um, there's gonna be some really helpful information and just understanding Rotary and how our foundation works um, both locally and at the international level. So, so you can join us. That's January 24th here at 6 p.m. Um, so we will wrap up with the five-way test. So if everyone wants to stand. <coughs> of all the things we think, say, or do. This is the truth. It's a very awesome. We'll build goodwill and friendships. We'll build traditions of all concern. We'll live all right, um, here's just a list of upcoming meetings. I don't think the foundation meeting is happening tonight, so I don't know if there's anything going on, but feel free to stick around, talk. Um, if there's more food or anything over that or help yourself. If you're a new member that joined us tonight, feel free to stick around and ask questions. I will be here, but any of the other Rotarians too are super helpful. So that is it, I think.